You know, I think this group is focused on the process more than, you know, the outcome. Obviously, um, the outcome is going to, um, you know, pave its way itself. But uh, we're really looking for the process. We're looking at, uh, you know, just getting better every day. And I think this group is, you know, special. Um, we have a lot of guys that are leaders. Um, you know, we have a lot of guys that bring effort and energy every day. Um, so I think, you know, this, this past week and um, really helped us in, to, to play the best football. What was the first two drives of that Louisville game like? And then the, how were you guys able to kind of figure it out then right after that? Yeah, I think it's a combination of um, a couple things. So, you know, it's, uh, it's the first game of the season. You're going to have some jitters. Um, you know, you can, you can scrimmage all you want, um, but that first game comes, it's going to be a little bit, bit different. It's going to be a little more fast. It's going to be a little more physical. Um, I would say that, you know, with, with the new system that they had, um, with the whole different coordinators um, coming from Appalachian State. Um, you know, there were some things that we didn't see on film. Um, so once we got those correct uh, corrections and once, once we made those adjustments, um, I think the players and the coaches did a wonderful job of, you know, shutting it, shutting it down. Was there a moment, though, at any point when you guys went to the bench after the second touchdown and you're like, wow, what's, co what's going on right now? I mean, I think there was a little bit of disappointment but it was more of a focus on what we're going to change, what kind of adjustments we're going to make. There was there was no sort of panic on the on the bench. Um, I think I think we're looking forward to get better each week. So yes, we you know we are looking for, you know um, to gain improvement. We are looking to play better than we did Louisville. I don't think it's for anyone. I don't think it's you know for any of the fans. Um, I think it's for ourselves. And like I said before, we, you know. This team is dedicated to the process more than you know any team I've ever been a part of. So you know we're looking to get better every day, and we're bringing that effort and energy to practice. So I'm just looking forward to you know the next game. What's your personal mentality on the football team? Uh, personal mentality is to go out there and you know be the best person on the field. Um, I think confidence is key. Um, so you know when I go out there. Um, I'm looking to be uh, confident, fast, um, and physical. Um, you know something that. You know, I'm trying to work on, and you know, I think um, I'm improving on every day is, is to be the leader of that. You know, being the Mike linebacker and, and making communications, and, and you know, having the defense, um, you know, follow follow my lead when it comes to communications and adjustments, stuff like that. So, you know, my, my mentality is to be the leader, and you know, just have confidence and, and play physical. What did you learn from Tranquil and Colleen over the last few I'm sorry. What, was that? what did you learn from Tranquil and Colleen watching them play? And now they're getting your shot. How are you kind of uh, molding that to yourself? To your own? Yeah, I would say I've been I've been really lucky since I've been here. I mean, not to put uh, you know Coney or, or Tranquil away at all, but since I've been here, I've had you know good leaders uh, for linebacker wise um, all throughout my career since freshman year. So Niles Morgan, Greer Martini, and then you know this past year uh, with um, Tavon Coney and, and Drew Tranquil. I mean, those guys um, really showed me and showed the rest of the uh, young linebackers what it was like, what it takes to be a leader of the defense. Um, I mean, just a Notre Dame student athlete in general, um, you know, being first class all the way, everything you do, you know, you're not skipping meetings, you're not skipping lifts, you're not skipping class. Um, you know, you, you want to be idolizing, you know, every part of your game, whether it's on or off the field. So those guys really taught me that.